Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about updating your drivers on Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first, and honestly the best way to update drivers would be to go onto the manufacturer's website and actually just go ahead and search for their automated download tools or if they have software packages for whatever application or peripheral device you are using, they typically have drivers that are available as part of the package that will download and install automatically. So that's usually the best way to do it. Another way, if you want to manually go ahead and update drivers, you can go ahead and open up the search magnifying glass and type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you can either double click or expand any of the drivers you want to update. And right click on the respective driver and select update driver. You can either search automatically for drivers. So if you select that, we're going to walk through that option first. And you can also search for updated drivers if it doesn't find anything. Alternatively, if you click the back arrow up at the top, you can browse your computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you can install a specific driver listed on here. It will usually be an accompanying Microsoft driver, which you can install, but usually a more specific one for your driver is preferred. And also, if you had a file that you downloaded from the internet for a driver, you could select have disk and you can go ahead and install it that way. So there are ways to manually actually go a step further with this, but that usually should not be very necessary. That's a very old way of doing things, honestly. So if you have an older device that's, I would say, older than 10 or 15 years at this point, you might have to do that. But most manufacturers are pretty good online with providing driver support. So I don't think you'd have to worry about that too much. So that's something else you can look into there. And if you needed to uninstall a driver, perhaps in order to install a new one, you can always right click on the driver and then uninstall a device. So generally there will be always a driver that should get reinstalled when your computer restarts. So it, let's say you uninstall the USB driver. If you restart your computer, it should automatically detect that it's connected to your computer and it would automatically reinstall it. So that's basically the process of reinstalling drivers. So pretty straightforward. Also, one further thing too, if you're trying to install like let's say a local printer and you already downloaded the utilities from the internet, you could select your top desktop or whatever name this is. So you see this drop down. You select the top text up here, and then you would select Action, and then select Add Legacy Hardware, select Next, and then you can install the hardware I manually select from a list, select Next again, and then you can go walk through this process of trying to set it up. So again, that's something else you can do. And also, if you just plug something in, as long as you're selecting the top thing up here, you have to select that, and then select action and you can scan for hardware changes and that will do a quick refresh and see if there's anything new connected to your device. So pretty straightforward process guys. Usually recommend a restart once you're done updating drivers and that's about it. So pretty straightforward. Do a buzz, it will help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.